Hey guys, it's John from Marco Learning. We've been hearing all about the tech problems for AP exams. In this video, I'm gonna talk about six things you can do to prevent any tech problems on future AP exams. Let's start with what you can do before the exam even begins. One of the things you can do right now is to update your browser. The College Board told us this week that some of the biggest problems they saw were people copying and pasting inside of out-of-date browsers. So make sure that your browser is compatible. Chrome works best, but you can also use things like Firefox and Safari. You cannot use Internet Explorer. So make sure you have a recent, up-to-date browser so you don't run into those problems on test day. A second thing you can do before the exam even begins is to go change the photo settings on your iPhone. If you're going to be submitting photos of your handwritten work and you have an iPhone after iPhone 6, your phone was programmed to take HEIC photos. Those are live photos. But HEIC photos are not compatible with the College Board system. So there's three simple steps you can follow. First thing you want to do is go to Settings and click on Camera. Then click on Formats, which will take you to Camera Capture. Finally, make sure that you check the blue check mark next to most compatible. So you follow those three simple steps and you've converted your photos out of that incompatible HEIC format to regular JPEGs. A third thing you can do before the exam is to download the app for the world languages exams. So if you're taking AP Spanish, AP French, AP Chinese, you need to make sure that you download the app provided by the College Board. This does work in Google Play and on the App Store, Practice with the app, it's pretty easy to use. Make sure that you understand it and you have everything installed before the test begins. So you've made sure your software is up to date, now you're ready to log into your exam. Go to the email with your AP ID, get that ticket, make sure, and this is really important guys, that you log in a full 30 minutes before the exam. Some people had problems logging in, their internet provider or the college board server, something was going wrong, so make sure you have that full 30 minutes. Now I'll tell you, some of my students have said that actually they got really nervous in the 30 minutes before the exam, but it's better to be nervous with the exam open than be really nervous trying to log in just a few minutes before it begins. So spend the full 30 minutes before the exam ready to go, logged into your computer. During the exam, make sure you're backing up your work. If you're typing in Microsoft Word, save the document. If you're typing in Google Docs, make sure that you're not going to lose your work or refresh out of the browser before it saves. You don't want to lose your essay response. You want to hang on to it to make sure you're ready to submit at exactly five minutes remaining. Which brings me to my final piece of advice, which is do not wait until the very last second to submit your essay. As soon as the timer turns red with five minutes remaining, you should upload your responses. You might have to convert pictures over to a different format. You might have to save your file and upload it. You don't wanna run the risk of running out of time and not being able to submit. So those are six things you can do to try to avoid tech problems on test day. And I know it's complicated and I know it's not everyone's fault, right? There were so many things that went wrong this first week. Let's focus on how we can get you guys ready for the next exams from May 18th to May 22nd and the makeup exams from June 1st to June 5th. Remember that the College Board has offered a new option. Starting Monday, May 18th, people can submit their responses via email after the exam if they run into tech problems on test day. Hopefully these tips will help you. I hope you have a great test day.